so this just happened, and I've never been so angry, embarrassed, and ashamed of my country. They just banned this man from competing on the women's Olympic swim team. Do better, America. Now he's got to go compete against other men and take last place for the rest of his life. Unreal. <laughs> I wasn't gay, would you sleep with me? Probably not. Why not? Um... You have really pretty eyes. You do have really pretty eyes. Thanks. I'd sleep with you. Thanks. <laughs> I suppose I'd sleep with you. Got him. We fucking got him. <laughs> Women. <laughs> I'm about to get railed by two guys, which is something I do quite often, if I'm honest with myself. And while I'm waiting for them to get here, I was just thinking, I'm on pace to hit 365 bodies in 365 days. <laughs> and last year, I was excited when I hit 300 in a year. But then this leaves me to think, what am I going to do next year? 500? 600? I'm an ambitious woman. I need to make sure that I'm always striving for greatness. I need to be chasing bigger and better numbers and always surpassing my limits. If Jesus can't save these hoes, why are you trying? Which bean greet do you have? That's what's wrong. This is from Columbus. Oh, Columbus. Yep. yep. Literally after my picture went viral, my boyfriend broke up with me about a week later after arguing because he felt like Chris was too close on me. I'm just like, it's one of the most respectable pictures. It's like <laughs> I was bending over grabbing my ankles. Um, but I I would trade my ex for me and Chris Brown a hundred more times. So definitely really, really right thing. The reason her boyfriend broke up with her is because he values and respects himself and is not a simp. Now you can see from her smile in the picture that she's clearly enjoying all the free attention and validation that she's getting from Chris Brown after paying a thousand dollars for that picture. Guys, remember, if you treat her like a celebrity, she'll treat you like a fan. I was just looking into the Love Island roster for this season. All of these women are under 26 years old. What is going on across the pond? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Is this all Botox and filler? What is... Why do the Brits age so fast? All of these women are under 30. Is there something in the water? In the food? Darts is big over there. And this is the latest phenom. In the darts world, he's English. Guess how old he is? 17. He's 17 years old. That, that's Luke Littler. He's seven. He just turned 17. Now, I'm not going to pretend that I'm aging like an angel, but what is going on? I was looking at the ages of the people in this show. I, is it Botox filler? Is it because over there they just start drinking when they're 13? And smoking cigs outside a Liverpool club? Outside a Manchester club? What? Wh oh, hell no! What's the worst thing about you? I'm fat. No, like a red flag. I don't got red flags. That's not true. I promise. I've never had a girlfriend. That doesn't mean you don't have red flags. How much time do you spend on the internet? Not a lot, because I'm a powerlifting team. Oh, slay? How much do you squat? I squat at 705 at Nationals. You're a fucking liar! <laughs> What the f He did it! I mean, okay! Gotcha, bitch! How old are you? 25. Let's say I wanted to take you out on a first date. How much should I spend on it? Whatever you can afford on the date. Doesn't matter to me. You don't have any expectations? No, I just want you to be thoughtful with whatever you put together. I'll pick you up. Let's get slushies at Sonic drive through Okay. That's fine. We have a conversation. We talk. We get to know each other. I'm fine with that. We could watch Black Mirror on my phone yep. and prop it up on the dashboard. It's a memory. It's an experience. I'm fine with it. So why do so many women tend to want guys to drop the bag on them and, you know, make it a big thing? I think that's what, I don't know. I think that's what the industry promotes, social media, everything we watch promotes. But I don't know. I can't answer for them. I just know kind of what I've been taught and what I value. So kind of what my answer is. What gave you that mentality? I don't know. I think if you have these expectations of things you can't always control, then it just gives you more stress and anxiety. So why worry? Just kind of let it happen and see where it goes. If 
the men are the ones tasked with every time there's a natural disaster, they have to go out and rescue people from the fires and the floodwaters. And every time there's a war, the men have to go and fight it and defend the country. And any time there's a criminal who needs to be violently arrested, it's going to be a man who goes and does that, not a woman. Where does the equality come in? If we're doing the fluffy jobs, you know, we're all singers. We got a lot of singers and musicians, which is cool. It's great. I love music too. But y'all ain't like rescuing people and uh, you know doing the doing the heavy lifting or the dirty or the dangerous jobs. Like who collects the trash, men? You know who uh, does all the steel working and oil rig work and uh, all of the like sewer cleaning. Hell men, and the men are the ones that have to fight and die to defend the country. The men are the ones that build and maintain all the infrastructure, right? Like none of this stuff in the studio is built or maintained by women. Do you know that like 90% of infrastructure jobs are still held by men? Mm -hmm. And that if you look at the top 20 jobs held by women now in 2024 versus 1924 are almost the exact same. So women have had 100 years to do whatever they want and they still do the same 20 jobs they did 100 years ago other than we switched out farm labor for HR work. But other than that, we're secretaries, nurses, daycare ladies, uh, early childhood education, uh, administrative assistants, retail workers, all the same shit that we were a century ago. <laughs> She's speaking the truth, but if I said the exact same thing, I'd be doxxed, cancelled, and labeled as a misogynist and a chauvinist. Ladies, the 15.2% of you subscribe to this channel. Everything you use and see around you has been conceptualized, designed, developed, built, and maintained by men. The quote-unquote dangerous and dirty jobs that the vast majority of modern women don't want to do, like offshore oil drilling, deep sea fishing, construction jobs, and sewer maintenance jobs are built, designed, and maintained by men. If Thanos right now snapped his fingers and all the men disappeared from this earth, I give the infrastructure and systems about two weeks before they totally collapse. The next clip is of a woman called Rachel, and she's explaining to modern independent women why they can't have it both ways. You're wanna... all saying, I want a strong man who's gonna lead, who's got his shit together, who isn't in his feelings. But then on the other hand, you're like, but I also want him to let me hang out with my guy friends. Well, but let me ask you this. Why does together? a man, you know, not wanting you to hang out with a guy friend equate to a strong man. Why does right. that make him a strong man? Why do I need a leash? Well, it depends. Do you want him hanging out with women when you're not I there? didn't care if, if he I communicated. Yeah. Okay, I hear what you're saying, but I pay attention to what women do, not what they say. So, if you say, I'm fine with my boyfriend going off and hanging out with his girl who's a friend, it doesn't bother me. What I'm hearing is, that's not a guy you really want. That's not a guy that you're actually into who really like... Maybe you're speaking for yourself, but for me, that's not what happened. You know, I loved him. I wanted a whole future with him. But and not enough to not hang out with the guy friends. Right. I just don't like rules, I guess. Yeah. Well, let's see, that's the thing. If you want the kind of guy who's going to handle business, mm -hmm. he can't also be the same kind of guy that's going to constantly let you step on his... You're goddamn right. This man gets rejected because he's arrogant. He's back. <laughs> Ooh. All right. If we can have your name. That was so fast. What's your name, sir? Hi, my name is Dr. Elam. <laughs> so we did get a couple of pot balloons here. Let's go over to some of these ladies and see what's going on. Please, let's. let's. Your name and age. I'm Jador. I'm 31. And Jador, why did you end up popping your balloon? Dr. Elam, it's such a tragedy because you are so handsome. I feel like you are extremely arrogant and I feel like you're probably gonna have a hard time because you seem like the type, like a know-it-all type of guy. And sometimes you have to be careful with that because even when you know it all, you don't know everything. You know, but just having a humble attitude, you know what I mean? You would probably go a lot further. And I say that with all the respect in the world. Thank you. You're welcome. Who's your dentist? <laughs> Who is my dentist? Not you, sweetheart. And I'm just gonna leave it right there. Oh, I know. Yeah. I'm not your dentist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. Hi, <clears throat> I'm Nova. I'm 30. Um, yeah, it was uh, just the arrogance for me. I, I love a man that's very confident. Like you, I'm gonna toot your horn every time I get, every chance I get, but um, I think you toot your own horn. So I don't think I will be able to <laughs> accommodate 
that every day. I like my space, I like quiet, I like, I feel like every day will be something, um, not negative, but just the energy would just be very high for me. It sounds like self-love is something that's challenging for you. Self-love? Oh, no, baby, I'm sorry. Because uh, if you loved yourself, then you wouldn't have any problem loving me. Oh, I, I love myself a lot, and I, I want to be able to love someone uh, as much as I love myself, but I feel like you love yourself so much that there wouldn't be any room for me to love you. <laughs> That sounded good, but it also didn't make very much sense That's because fine. love isn't a container. Love yeah, is something that container. you are. So I yeah. love myself. I've worked on myself and uh -huh. I understand the tools that it takes to practice self-love. Okay. And so space and time isn't really an objective field that you need to use as a barometer to see if it's possible if we can love each other. What? It's either you love yourself and you can share that or you're uncomfortable with it. And so I feel that you're also uncomfortable with me loving myself as much as no, I no, do. No. And it's I'm coming off as arrogance. Yeah, you, you do. Um, so my confidence is triggering you because no, it's no, reminding no. you. I love confidence. It's not about you not having self-love. It's about you not appreciating the self-love in other people. And that is a direct reflection of how you see yourself. It's, the term is called projection. When mm -hmm. you see me shining, it reminds you that you're not shining enough. My nigga. <laughs> oh, so when I said that I melt in confidence, that kind of went over your head? Oh. Melting in confidence is Self-love, confidence, all that in my man is very important to me because I don't want to date a man that does not love himself because then he won't love me as much. The level of love will be different. Look, I'm really trying to follow you. I know, right. I know, but it's okay. You but your ego won't allow you to take responsibility for your lack, and my that's lack? okay. But I don't lack anything, babe. Pop y'all's balloon before you even got to know Dr.